Hey guys, welcome back to Physical Learning Point. Today we have a discussion on very important topic that is calculation of spin parity for the nucleus of an atom. This is one of the most important topic that I am going to discuss. So, the spin parity for any nuclei of an atom can be represented by j to the power p, where j is total angular momentum and p is the parity. Okay. Now, uh, as we all know that the nuclei or the nucleon are uh, basically protons and neutrons and uh, they are fermions. So, the filling of uh, nucleons can be done in the same way as in case of electron. So, that is in quantized manner. So, according to uh, cell model of a nuclei, the filling of electrons. Uh, nucleons can be done in the following way okay that is s1 by 2 p3 by 2 p1 by 2 d5 by 2 s1 by 2 d3 by 2 f7 by 2 then p3 by 2 f5 by 2 p1 by 2 then g9 by 2 and g7 by 2 where these are the angular momentum quantum number okay and uh, for the calculation of parity, we have to use this formula that is parity is equal to minus 1 to the power L. Okay, where L is orbital angular momentum. Now, uh, here are the three possibilities for spin parity prediction. Uh, that is, uh, either we have uh, even number of protons or even number of new, uh, neutrons or we have a odd number of protons, even number of nu neutrons or even number of protons, odd number of neutrons. And uh, the last one is the odd number of protons and odd number of neutrons. So, in first case, if we have even, even nuclei, that is even number of protons and even number of neutrons. So, in this case, our j to the power p is always 0 plus that is parity is positive and total angular momentum is 0 okay so this is fixed okay if we have even even nuclei then j to the power p is 0 plus always it is fixed condition now the second case is we have even odd or odd even nuclei means either we have odd number of protons or odd number of neutrons then in that case we will always consider the odd one if we have odd number of protons then we will consider or, uh, protons and if we have odd number of neutrons then we will consider neutrons okay example uh, 19f9 or 23na11 okay here we have protons 9 and neutrons 10. Here we have protons 11 and neutrons 12. So these are the cases of even odd or odd even nuclei. If we have odd odd nuclei means odd number of protons or odd number of neutrons then we will use Northern rule. According to this rule we have to find uh, angular momentum quantum number for proton angular momentum quantum number for neutron and then orbital angular momentum for proton and orbital angular momentum for neutron okay after uh, determining these four we will do the sum of these four and here we have two conditions either the sum is odd or even if we have odd condition then the total angular momentum would be jp plus jn okay and here is the mod means we do not have to consider about the negative sign uh, and if it is even then the total angular momentum will be jp minus jn now for parity we, we will use the formula minus 1 to the power lp plus ln okay so by this method we will easily calculate uh, spin parity for odd odd nuclei example 10b5 here proton is equal to 5 and neutron is equal to 5 so that's all for today's lecture 
now in the next lecture i will discuss some examples related to the particular topic so thank you